Both elements was open at the front, which means that it was a visible a garment um, bottom. Uh, the bodice is made of uh, 12 elements, two large on the front, two on the shoulders neck, and eight um, which are perfectly matched back. In addition, in the rear part, there are two elements that are an extension of the skirt. The individual elements of the back of the bodice are close to the rectangle, both front left and right are irregular in shape, but represent the mirror image. The neckline in the bodice is not too deep, rounded, without any additional ornaments and reinforcements. Sleeves are long, uh, tapering towards the wrist. Basically, they are joined using two stitches. Uh, internal seam is concave, it causes profiling of the sleeve. The cuffs of both sleeves are one piece, in form similar to a rectangle. The skirt is made of seven elements. Six are similar in shape to a rectangle and one uh, a slightly more imaginative cutout. On its upper side there are two strips of fabric, from which a central uh, portion is formed both. The skirt is shorter front, uh, rather longer, by about uh, 20 uh, centimeters. Uh, so, the dress uh, has been done of uh, 31 elements. Um, each of the sleeves are uh, made up of five components. A bodice is consists of uh, 12 uh, elements, and the skirts consist of uh, nine uh, elements. Footwear from the coffin number uh, 9 has been made of many materials, wood, uh, leather and uh, silk fabrics. One part now green color, decorated on the surface of ruffled silk ribbons. The condition is not allowed to measure the total length of shoes, but uh, from that he had heel high of 5.5 uh, centimeters. On the upper, on the underside of upper parts are the reliefs of the linen lining. Um, footwear in front are a fairly strong narrowing, forms a triangular tip. For a textile one, uh, shows two rows of holes along uh, the seam, most likely they use ornamental uh, seam. Footwear uh, in a coffin number 12 is made of uh, soft animal skin. One uh, are much softer and more uh, flexible than the sole. Nowadays, sure, uh, uh, shoes are um, brown color, non uniform. They are visible blemishes and discoloration. The color of the original is impossible to uh, determine. Each of the shoes is uh, measured 27 centimeters. The soil is one piece, doesn't have a heel. In front, uh, shoes are strongly narrowing, forming a sharp a triangular tip. Inside, it was observed that the shoes have soft wood inserts and were uh, linen, linen fabric in plain with one to one. At the burial in a coffin number no. 9 was discovered four types of silk uh, heritage cherry. Um, ribbons, uh, that ribbons was made uh, with simple uh, weaves uh, one to one, but uh, somewhat, uh, somewhat differently present additives uh, to dress a woman buried in a coffin number no. 12. Uh, discovered heritage cherry, uh, four pieces in three types were made of silk. Uh, the first kind is a certain ribbon uh, tied in a bow. The second, uh, the second type ribbon with a geometric uh, pattern. Uh, ribbon was um, in the, around the head of the disease, most likely upheld the lower jaw uh, of the disease. And uh, the order of the same can paper the shell was tied in a bow, consists of two separate tags. And the third a type 
um, the model plant uh, ribbon tied in a six-pointed bow. All ribbons were around uh, the head of the disease. Among uh, textile coffins decoration are external and internal upholstery, pillowcases of mattresses and pillows. Uh, in, that case, in, in that case of these burials, only one case of this type of decoration were found, and it's uh, pillowcases. Pillowcases in the coffin number 12 was made of silk fabric. It's currently dark brown. It was under the head of the disease and uh, was uh, filled with herbs. Most uh, likely it's made of a single piece of uh, fabric, but the bottom uh, portion is damaged and at the time findings were already two separate uh, components. Below case consists of four basic elements. The front and the back are of the same shape similar to a, a quadrangle with slightly rounded edges. Uh, around the edges uh, is a ribbon. In, in addition, between the edges of the ribbon is some frill uh, strongly uh, crinkled. All stored items of clothing made of silk, most in the plane with one-to-one, -one. Uh, satin and uh, coconite weaves are mainly in the ribbons. In the textile dominate not twist thread. Uh, numerous also appear the strands in S twist, uh, but no cases in the twist uh, Z zip. Highest density threads on one centimeter have a textile in satin and a combined uh, width. Uh, the general state of, um, uh, of the object can be described as very uh, good. However, in the course of conservation and reconstruction, we will become some damage. Some of the damage may have occurred during, during use of clothing. Uh, there is the general weakening, uh, weakening uh, of the fibers. They, there may be mechanical damage or uh, contamination. Uh, and foyer wool from textile is also affected by sunlight. The fabric of the dress of the woman in coffin uh, number uh, 12 is uh, highly overstretched in some places on the sleeves, at the height of the elbow and the rear skirt, upper part, and uh, it could be um, it uh, proves um, quite prolonged uh, use. On the apron, uh, also observed traces of use, uh, numerous patches and uh, darkening. Also, uh, some of the damage of leather shoes, uh, like the soles, have occurred during use of the footwear. The skin is heavily discolored in places. Uh, the upper shows uh, things of insect uh, feeding, like, yeah. <coughs> the highest uh, surface destruction uh, can be seen on the pillowcase, um, in coffee number 12. Destruction are in front of the party, which was followed by direct contact between the head of the disease and the fabric. In this place, it was built a powerful loss of an irregular shape with maximum a maximum dimension of 18 to 15 centimeters. So, funeral equipment in these two burials are uh, characterized by high diversity. There are also two separate garments. Both outer garments do not have common um, features and a similarity footwear and accessories. Not found uh, direct uh, analogy to the presented funeral equipment, but the collection of, uh, of that uh, enriched uh, the knowledge of funeral rituals of late 18th and early 19th uh, century. Uh, funeral equipment, including uh, clothing, footwear, accessories, are a valuable source of archaeological research as well as they are the challenge of conservation and reconstruction. Illustrates the history of fashion, textile design, 
but above all provides information about the society in the modern times. It's a document of the past holding its own uh, story. Thank you very much.